Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will see what is Jenkins, the Jenkins workflow and how we will set up in AWS cloud infrastructure. In the current IT market, there is a high demand of the automation tools and Jenkins is one of them. It is used for CI and CD automation. So let's see what is Jenkins and the workflow and then we'll do uh, the installation and setup. Jenkins is a free and open source automation server which is entirely written in Java. So it's a Java application. It helps automating the parts of software development related to building, testing and deploying. So it facilitating continuous integration and continuous delivery that is CI and CD. So Jenkins is the most widely adopted solution for the continuous delivery. So let's see what's the workflow, how the Jenkins works. So here if you see the developer, right? The developer is uh, developing the code, right? Writing the code and after it finishes the uh, project and it has to finish, uh, commit the codes into the GitHub remote repository. And from there, remote uh, repository, and it will be automatically triggered. Like the trigger will be automatically done, and uh, then the Gen uh, Jenkins build will start. So the Jenkins will build the code, test, do the unit testing and quality check, and then um, and then uh, perform the build output that will be your binary file, and that file will be deployed into your. Uh, staging environment for further testing okay that means it will be delivered to the test environment test server so after that so in between if the uh, build fails or uh, there is some box or the build fails what happens the uh, notifications will be sent to the developer team right development team and and then, then the developer what will they'll do they'll try to fix it uh, based on the uh, issues or they'll try to fix the bug and then they'll again commit the code to the github remote repository and there again it will be triggered automatically and again the build process will start so this entire process and is called continuous integration and once the build is success and the binary and the exe file will be deployed or delivered to staging and moment okay for further testing so this process is called continuous delivery okay and then it can be deployed into production as well uh, once uh, the code is successfully tested and verified and approved by the management okay uh, so let's see uh, so this is uh, how the jenkins workflow and works okay uh, so let's see what are the uh, key terms of jenkins okay um, uh, when you set up the jenkins you'll find uh, the term like job and project so these two terms used interchangeably that is uh, they all refer to a runnable task that are controlled or monitored by the Jenkins and uh, Executor an uh, executor is a separate uh, stream of wheels to be run on a node in parallel a node can have one or more Executors so executor whenever a job starts, executor will be uh, triggered and that executor will uh, is, a, is a separate build It will run and execute the job. Okay and what is a build? A build is a result of one of the projects. So whenever we build the projects, it will generate a file, the output, right? The build, uh, the, uh, the final output will be a build, which could be your binary uh, artifact, and then plugins. So the entire gen consists of uh, multi uh, multiple plugins because without plugins, the Jenkins cannot function properly. So what we have to do, we have to set up or set all plugins and uh, in Jenkins when we install Jenkins and do the setups we uh, need to go through uh, the required plugins and uh, try to install in the Jenkins okay so a plugin is a piece of software or a program that extends the core functionality of the core Jenkins server uh, let's see uh, how we can install the uh, Jenkins uh, application on our AWS cloud machine right so before uh, we install we need uh, to have uh, Java installed first okay and then minimum Java requirement is 7 but it is recommended to use Java version 8 okay uh, so let's see uh, how we can install install uh, the Jenkins server on AWS EC2 instances 
and I have procured one CentOS Linux machine, okay? And uh, let me connect to the Linux machine and get the IP and connect to the Linux machine. Uh, here is the IP address, okay? Mm, just get the IP. Go to your terminal, okay? So what I'm going to uh, do it now, uh, let me connect SSH icon I and my key file is on Daniel download folder, okay? So it is my key new key dot pen and uh, it is uh, the user is signed to us and, and press the IP, okay? So we can install Java right now, okay? So to install Java, what you have to use uh, yum, okay, and install. Uh, we have to you um, you have to install Java Open JDK 1.8. Okay, so what is what you have to use Java 1.8.0. I can open JDK. Okay, you can like so it will install Java package now. Okay, the Java JRE 1.8 is installed. Now let's install the 1.8 JDK. Okay, so the same command you have to type IM install Java, Java 1.8.0 open, open JDK and this time you have to write hyphen devel. Okay, just hit enter. Okay, now it is, uh, you can see here, uh, it says the Java 1.8 is installed. Okay, uh, so to check the Java, whether it is installed or not, what you have to do, um, first, uh, first, uh, uh, first let the home directory of Java to set. Okay, to set the home directory, you have to just uh, uh, use uh, export, okay, export Java underscore home equal to, okay. And uh, the Java should be installed under user leaf and it is should be JVM and the file name is Java I think 1.8.0 okay. open JDK okay open JDK so this is the Java home uh, path okay so what you have to do uh, just uh, set hit enter uh, now Java home is set. Now this Java home we have to add into the path. Okay, so same thing you have to do is export path equal to first we have to make Java home right uh, Java underscore home then slash and then we have to go to the bin where the executables are there and then colon and then add the real path previous path whatever it is okay path now hit enter now what you do uh, just uh, come out uh, from this or if if you do echo dollar okay java underscore home you will see see our java home directory set up as this so let's go to this directory and see what else what else are there cg if you do the analytics, you can see all these Java's open JDK JRE and Java open JDK folder is here. Now what we do, uh, let's install uh, Jenkins. Okay, uh, to install Jenkins, uh, what we have to do, we have to just simply uh, go to uh, the installation page uh, of Jenkins. Uh, so we can find it uh, here at the Jenkins installation page for Jenkins that io okay and uh, if you go to the jenkins uh, official phase you can go to the documentation okay and here you can see the installing jenkins okay and uh, at this side uh, you can see here um, you know, the best and the ways uh, they have given the steps i'm going to install on linux so click on linux okay and i'm going to install on red hat or sancho os okay just click on so here you will find uh, the options to install uh, the ScientOS. Here they have provided long-term uh, support release and weekly weekly release. So they have to release this. 
so we'll go with the long term support release uh, so what we have to do first uh, just get uh, this code copied okay and paste it on your environment just hit enter uh, so what it says uh, it says the wget command not found so what you have to do now just uh, install the wget command first install wget y okay okay now the wget command is installed so now execute the same command again okay uh, so just paste it here and hit enter uh, what it says the repo is now downloaded it does actually so it just the using wget command it's downloading this jenkins repo from this uh, path okay from this path is downloading this repo and um, uh, next what we have to do just uh, go to here and uh, just uh, using this rpm import the keys okay and go here and just paste it okay. and the key is now imported uh, after that what you have to do you have to upgrade it okay uh, so we are already under uh, root so you yum you, you can say upgrade okay so now Jenkins no practice Mac for update so it's okay now we can install Jenkins uh, we have to install install the Jenkins uh, don't uh, copy this as well because this uh, we already have uh, installed this JDK okay so what we have to do yum install Jenkins okay just yum install Jenkins yes okay the Jenkins is now installed so what we have to do next uh, we have to just reload the daemon okay uh, there is a command this is uh, systemctl and uh, daemon reload uh, once we reload this daemon then let's start the Jenkins server okay so same command you have to type uh, like systemctl okay um, you can say start Jenkins okay so what it will do it will start the Jenkins okay uh, so the command it's that gives here uh, start Jenkins and if you see the status of that so you can just use systemctl status Jenkins okay so system CTL enter so you can see here the Jenkins service is up and running go to your browser okay and remember the Jenkins server runs under uh, on port number 8080 okay 8080 so make sure you have uh, given the required firewall access to port 8080 okay so uh, get the IP address of your uh, machine of your uh, uh, server and go to uh, the web browser and type HTTP okay and give the IP address and then 8080 okay so if you hit, when you hit enter so it will just load the Jenkins page so now our Jenkins is successfully installed so it is asking to unlock the Jenkins if you see here the to ensure Jenkins is securely set up by the administrator a password has been retained to be uh, uh, sorry uh, a password has been retained to the log and this file on the server okay so here is the path and the file name they have given okay just uh, go to your server where Jenkins is installed and use cat and password so here you can see the password is this one okay now uh, copy this and go to your administrator password just hit and then continue so when you continue it will ask you to install some plugins so what is plugins plugins is a piece of software or a program so uh, various plugins we are going to use in Jenkins uh, to do the various tasks okay so we are going to install a few plugins now so it gives two options one is install suggested plugins the other one is select plugins to install so I'm just going with the suggested one okay just hit uh, this button and you can see these are the plugins going to be installed on Jenkins server okay so let it install and it will take few uh, minutes uh, to get installed okay I can see uh, all our required plugins have been installed 
now create the first admin user so just give the username um, so i'm going to give us ranjit the first jenkins and the password and and uh, something like any email id okay then save and continue so here it keeps the url okay so here this is the url you have to uh, keep a note of this url to uh, connect your jenkins the same url whatever we used to get the jenkins page right so you can see it here 15206 122 and 67 colon 88 80 80 right then save and finish now it says Jenkins is ready so your Jenkins setup is complete now so we successfully set up our Jenkins now start using it and if you click start using you will get to the Jenkins dashboard this is your welcome page of your Jenkins so uh, this is how now you learned how to install uh, what uh, you learned what is Jenkins and how to install and set up the Jenkins. So in our next lecture, let's configure the other parts of Jenkins and then we'll install a few more plugins and create our new projects and work on that. Thanks for watching till end. Uh, if you like this video, please do share. And if you are not subscribed, please do subscribe so that you'll get up uh, up to date uh, notification when I add more videos on Jenkins. Okay. Thank you.